Kapow! Swoosh! Happy Halloween and welcome to my comic base tutorial. I'm going to be starting off with a clean canvas and for this I'm just using a lighter shade of foundation than my face and I'm going to apply it all over. Now that my face is fully covered and my canvas is created, I'm going in with my concealer and I'm just highlighting a couple of areas because this is lighter and covering up any other blemishes. And this is Fake Up by Benefit. Once blended and the appropriate areas are highlighted, I'm going in with my Electric Palette by Urban Decay and I'm picking out a vibrant pink color, just like my shirt, and I'm going to be applying it to my eyelids. I'm going to be patting this on my eyes because I really want the eyeshadow to be nice and thick and pigmented. So. I don't want to sweep it on and push it everywhere. So just pat it on, make it as dark as possible, and you can definitely use an eye shadow primer if you like. I completely miss that step. But don't worry because Urban Decay's eyeshadows are completely pigmented. Next, I'm going in with a black eyeliner pencil, and I'm gonna start to line my eyes on the upper and the lower and the waterline. And it's good to start with an eyeliner pencil if you're not that good with eyeliner, just so it's easier to smudge and uh, you don't have to worry about mistakes. So here I'm going in with my eyeliner pen by Essence. This is a great eyeliner pen to start with. It's really affordable, it's not too pricey, and it you can control it really well. You could definitely go ahead with this first and create your lashes. You really wanna look cartoon-like, so I made the black really thick and the lashes really long because you really wanna emphasize that. You're a cartoon. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the bottom. I'm gonna line underneath my lashes and I'm gonna create some little eyelashes. So here you have the finished eyes. These are my cartoon-like eyes, really exaggerated, and it makes your eyes look bigger. So next, again, with that same Essence eyeliner, I'm just gonna be outlining the area where my eyeshadow meets. You're basically drawing your face now, so this is just gonna give you that added cartoon or drawn cartoon-like appearance. There we go, we're getting there. And it's a little bit dramatic and a little bit heavy, but you're a cartoon, so don't worry about it. The finished product will look great. So here I'm going in with my black pencil liner, and I'm going to be filling in my brows with the black because we're drawn. And I kind of look like I have Frankenstein eyebrows, but that's okay. Again, the finished product will look so much better, and it's way better to use a pencil for this because Using clean sweeps, it'll just look make it look a little bit more natural. So now I'm taking my pen liner and I'm gonna be drawing lines to make me look more like a cartoon character. And this is just contouring the nose and giving it that shape. You 
could definitely do these lines with a black liner pencil as well. I'm just going with the pen because I find it to be a little bit darker in color um, and it doesn't smudge as much and I find it a little bit easier to control. So here I'm just going to be contouring the cheeks and creating the cheek lines. Once finished the cheeks, I'm going into the chin and I'm going to be drawing a big thicker line on the bottom of my chin. This is just going to give the outline of the face and have it a bit more prominent and the black is also going to shade and contour the face. the lippies. I'm going in with this really bright vibrant pink color. I decided to go with pink to make it look, look a little bit more art pop and almost like anime manga-ish rather than comic books. So, And I thought it was fun to go with bright colors and pink is one of my favorites. And if you haven't already noticed, the black liners are going to be your best friends for this tutorial. And here I'm going to be outlining the lips. You can change your lip shape depending on how you want to outline it. And here I made a couple more mistakes. So my lip is lined a little bit heavier on top, but that's completely okay because you're a cartoon. So no rules. Outlining the lips really exaggerate it and kind of bring the look together, I find. And here I'm creating a little bit of a V to give some more shape to the lips. And I'm lining the inner rim of the lip area too, on the top and the bottom. The look is definitely starting to come together, except for the fact that I somewhat look slightly like a man, or I can't get over that my lip liner sort of looks like a mustache. But here I'm going in with some white face paint. You can definitely use a white liner or any white makeup, and I'm dabbing it on the corner of one side of my lip, and this is gonna go on the top and bottom, and this is gonna act as if your lips were shiny, how cartoons do it and they're highlighting your lips. So the one side is dull and the other one is shiny. It's a cartoon-like effect. But it's starting to look really awesome. Time to exaggerate this look some more. So I'm going in with some mascara to darken my lashes and make them look bigger. Some falsies would be amazing here. I just chose not to use them. Um, the bigger the eyes, if everything was exaggerated, the more exaggerated the better. You're a cartoon, so it's definitely go all out. And now, last but not least, just put on a fun wig. I find a wig uh, diff of different color definitely brings the look together. And there you have it, your finished comic face. And this was all inspired by Promise Fan. Definitely check out her YouTube channel and subscribe to both and you can share. And I hope you all have a happy and safe Halloween. Thanks so much for watching my videos. 